Hey everyone, my name is Marco and welcome to the world of my color screen where today I'll be showing you a video tutorial on how to create a truly amazing Android home screen. So today's video tutorial is on an amazing home screen called GOG or GOG, I guess you could call it by Droid Screens and it is truly mind blowing. It is a three page home screen, that's right it's got three pages, starting off with the first screen at your main screen or your home screen, it's got that awesome looking middle card that's got that, it's almost like a mountain range but it's vectorized, it looks very clean and minimal and it looks really good especially it's above those awesome looking icons there it's in a custom icon pack by droid screens himself called gulos which is available from the google play store and they look really fantastic on this home screen your second page it's your it's got your weather as well as your rss feeder so you can get all your important news on your second page as well as a very clean looking weather widget and then finally your third page which is all your favorite apps so let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so I'll be starting off with a stock Apex launcher because that's pretty much the, uh, the launcher that you need to set up this home screen. So we're going to first go into the Play Store and I'll show you what apps you'll need to be downloading. So we're going to go into our Play Store here and you want to look for the GOG theme tutorial. Don't worry, the link's in the description below. So you want to open it now. And as you can see, what the author has done is provided five steps for you to follow in order to set up this amazing home screen. So we are going to be starting off with step number one. So if we go into it here, you can see that you only need six apps over here. Your Apex Launcher, your Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper, the Gulos icon set, Gulos, as well as your RSS feeder, UCCW, and Iron Sky. So make sure you've got all of those before you proceed, as well as your wallpaper at the top. So you can choose which one it is, depending on your phone's resolution. So because I've got a Nexus 4, I'm going to, I'm going to be going with the fourth one over here. You're going to select it, it's going to bring up a download page. Now I also recommend downloading a file explorer as you're going to be needing to extract the files onto your phone. So I highly recommend ES File Explorer as it's in a brilliant file explorer. So if you just select it here, let's go just once. And it's going to download the files for you quick and simple like that. Don't have to worry about having a, or resizing your wallpaper. So just scrolling down you can see the download has been completed. You can say open the folder now. Now if you open up ES File Explorer, you should have these zip files here. And to extract it, it's very easy. Look for the one that's got your resolution. So you just need to hold down on it and then select more and then extract to. Now you can either just keep it as your current path, but I enjoy make, leaving it this first one and then selecting OK and it's going to extract. So there is the folder right there. If you go into it and go into it again, it's got all the wallpapers that you need as well as the UCCW skin needed for your clock. Great, so that's your first part set up. We're gonna be going, moving on to the second step now. So we're gonna go back into the tutorial app and we wanna go back now and we wanna go into the second step. Great, so the second step is for setting up your multi-picture live wallpaper. It's very easy to do. One thing to take note of is that it's three screens. So if you have any more screens, say if you have four or more, Multi-picture live wallpaper doesn't really handle that well and you're going to have to go into your settings, your apps and then clearing the data for multi-picture live wallpaper in order to have three of these right here. So let's move on to setting up multi-picture live wallpaper. I'm going to minimize this and let's hold down on the home screen and select wallpapers. I'm going to be going into live wallpapers now and you want to select multi-picture live wallpaper. Great, so you want to go into your settings here and now you, if you've just started multi-picture live wallpaper, you've just cleared all the data, you should have none of these. So you're going to select the little plus button here and it'll start off with one and you select OK and then you do it again and you repeat the process till you have three um, screen settings. So we're going to be starting off with the first one, you're going to select it and you want to go picture source. From here you want to select your single picture, now you can use whatever image app you want to go for, I'm going to go for quick pick as this now shows my files that I've just downloaded. And now you want to select number one. If you're not sure what that is, you can always just go options here and you go into mode and then list. And there it shows you one like that. Next you want to go back, you want to go screen two settings and do the exact same thing except now you want to obviously select number two. And then finally you want to do the same for number three. And then once you go back, you can go into your transition type. You want to make it slide. You want to disable any reflections 
and then that's pretty much it. You just, you just need to go back now and then select set wallpaper and it'll set up all the wallpapers for you. Don't worry too much about your number of screens and that as we'll be changing that right now. So if we go back into our tutorial app, we can move on to step number three. Great, so for step number three, this is for your Apex settings. So one thing to take note of is a portrait grid of a nine by seven. Some scrolling settings will have to be changed as well as having three screens. So if we just minimize this and we double tap on the home screen, we can get into our Apex settings over here. I'm gonna select it here. I'm gonna go into our home screen settings. Remember a portrait grid of a nine by seven. Your margins you want off. When you're going to manage screens, you only want to have three home screens, so however else they are, you just want to select them and put them in the bin, basically. So there should only be three screens. Let's go back into Apex Settings. Home screen settings again. You want to enable elastic scrolling. Your minimum scrolling time, you can make it 50. One thing to take note of here, in your UI options, you want to enable tablet UI. And then you want to hide shadows and then hide icon labels. So that's pretty much it for the home screen settings. We're just going to go back now and you want to go into your dock and you want to disable the dock. Make sure it is disabled. Great. So that's it for your Apex settings. Now we can go back to our tutorial over here as now we can go back and then move on to step number four. Great. Now in step four, we'll be setting up our icon theme as well as our two widgets, our, our weather widget as well as our RSS reader. So we just need to minimize this again. Go to our second page. Now from here, we're just going to double tap on the home screen. You want to select Apex settings and you want to go into theme settings. Make sure you've downloaded the Gulo's icon pack. You want to select it now. Deselect the wallpaper. You just want the icon pack and the skin and you want to select apply. This will apply all of your icons so that they look really badass. And now you want to be adding in the two widgets. So to do that, you want to hold down on the home screen. Select widgets. Let's start off with Iron Sky. There it is. You want to select cities. So quick thing to notice, you want to make your icon set clean. Your text color, you want it to be fully white. You want to disable your background color. And then finally, you can show navigation bars if you wish to switch between different areas. So you're just going to select OK. And there it is over here. You just need to drag it to the middle. Hold down and then select resize just to get it a nice fit. There it is. And next we can move on to Simple RSS Reader beneath it. Go back into your widgets. Look for Simple RSS Widget. From here you can go into your Manage RSS Feeds. You can add an RSS feed if you wish and select the X's if you want to get rid of them. And then go back. Now it's going to add it for you. You just want to select the wrench to get it back into your Options menu. Next we're going to deselect News Source. We can leave these two but for News Title we want to make it a white. So you want to drag all of these back, except this bottom one here, leave the value. You want to make it all Fs. Just select OK. Your size, you want to change it to 10. And 10 again. And then for your background, you want to select it and you want to make it fully transparent and then select OK. And then for your icon transparency, you want to slide it all the way to the left. Just so those icons are still there, you can still get to them in case you want to re-edit something. So that is your simple RSS widget configuration complete. Going to go back, hold down on it, and then we'll hold down on it again and select resize. Great. So there is our news and weather page complete. To finish the fourth step, all we have to do now is add in all of our icons. So an easier way of doing this, if we just open up our app drawer here, so we can see he has all of our icons installed. So let's start dragging them in. So say for your messaging, you just need to hold down and then drag it over there. Let's get it one up just so it fits like that. And you just want to repeat the process for say people, for your phone, your gallery, and let's go for your Gmail. Then you're going to swipe across to your favorite applications and you want to repeat the process and add in all of your favorite apps that you would want. Great, so once all your favorite applications have been added, then that's all of your screens complete. So finally, we're going to move on to step five, which is just adding in your UCCW. So we're going to go back into the tutorial and we're going to go into step number five. And this basically just explains on how to add in your UCCW skin. So to do that, you just need to hold down on the home screen here, select widgets. Remember you have to be in your home screen and then go into the app called UCCW. And remember, it doesn't really matter what size you choose as you can just resize it anyway. And you want to select use it at the top. 
And all you have to do is find where you saved that folder originally, that one that you had to download onto your phone. It should be in the downloads if you just saved it in that position. And you just need to go into it and go into it again and then look for the clock gog.user. I'm going to select it. It's going to import onto your home screen. Just select the hand. Hold down now. And now you just need to resize it. So what you just want to do now is just select the widget or the, the skin and you can select background now and then go to time. If you want to change it to a 24 hour time, you want to scroll across all the way to control number five. You want to go into format and now you can change it from here. So you can have a 24 hour or 12 hour, whatever you want. It's not going to change now. But what you can also do is if you go into your select object here again and you go into your hotspots, as you can see what the author has done is provided you with the ability to change these hotspots. All you have to do is say if you want to go into number one, which is the one at the top, you can change the hotspot by simply selecting hotspot, app, and then say changing it to clock like that. Remember if you're a bit too confused with UCCW, we still have our UCCW tutorials in the description below. So you're going to change number two as well, go into hotspot, go into app, and then go into calendar. I'm going to select my calendar. So that's what will happen if you select two of those apps. So all you have to do now is if you go into your options here and you go into lock widgets and you select on. This will lock the widget so you can double check if it works. You can just select that and it brings up the clock. Pretty cool. So there you have our home screen complete as well as our video tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. So thank you very much guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our My Color Screen YouTube channel as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. So thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing.